everyone! Welcome back to UC Star Astrologies. I'm your astrologer, Cindy. This is going to be the astrology forecast for Cancer, February 2017. And you, if you're German speaking, wenn du Deutsch redest, then your video is in the middle, and I will put the time when it starts, okay? So, I'm in with Cancer in English. <laughs> On the 1st of February, we have March, 3 degrees in Aries. This is happening in your 10th house of career and of your reputation. So Mars is really, really working for you. And if you are looking for a job or if you're wanting to work up the ladder, this is such great, great go-getter energy. Okay, so um, this is definitely, definitely big blessings here, okay? Um, on the, and then we also have Sun 12 degrees in Aquarius, which is in your eighth house. So Sun is all about um, authoritative figures. It's shining a lot of light on money flowing to you from other resources like government, income tax returns, even um, from like alimony, or um, from from banks, bank loans. Um, what else? Um, also, when um, like if can't think of it right now. Um, okay, so other means of money from even when someone dies and you inherit an inheritance. Yes, such resources are flowing to you. It is also a, a sex house here, so um, it's also this house where wanting to get in deeper. Also, um, secrets could be coming up, so be wary, you know, secrets in regards to your friends or your friends learning secrets about you. Um, you're trying, you could be trying like to dig up secrets on your friends and be careful not to burn them because Sun is not very happy in Aquarius. On the 4th of February, Venus enters Aries. This is happening in your 10th house. So you have Mars sitting here already. <laughs> now Venus is coming in here. So um, both of them are really, really working for you for your reputation and your and your career. So it could be that a woman at your career uh, could could be, and it could be even a man or men and women helping you go up the ladder. Another possibility which could be happening here is that you could be falling in love with someone with whom you work with. Okay, someone in your career sector um, or even your boss. <laughs> And if you're single, it could even be people who are authoritative figures, people who work for the government, um, spies, <laughs> politicians, government officials, you know, that could also happen. On the, then we have on the 6th of February, Jupiter goes retro. And beep, beep, he goes backwards, and this is happening in your fourth house. So, Jupiter, when, when, it, when it's sitting in your fourth house, you know, if you're, if you are wishing, if, if you're wishing to move or to, um, expand your house, make it bigger, or build a house, anything of that sort, Jupiter is blessing you since it's been in September to make that possible. Um, and so if you really want to invest, but then all of a sudden when it goes backwards, you might feel like um, the blessings are slowing down and it's just like a, going on a slower pace of being able to build the house. Um, another thing is... Um, um, like if you're wanting to have a baby, yes, Jupiter does bless you to be able to have the baby, but um, you might have to wait until it starts to go forward again, you know. Maybe in Jupiter, you were able, with Jupiter here, you were able to convince 
your husband or or wife to to have that child and you're trying to have it and you're trying to conceive but then when Jupiter goes backwards it's just not happening but if you do the Jupiter mantra as soon as it go forwards you could have twins hallelujah <laughs> you can have triplets if you if you're like doing Jupiter mantras the whole day long you know um and then for four months long and then all of a sudden it goes forward and there you go <laughs> pop goes the weasel <laughs> It was really bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> um, then we have, and that is the um, that is Jupiter, and also the seventh of February we have Mercury entering Aquarius. And another thing I want to say is that Jupiter does. Um, a lot of people may you know say, oh no, Jupiter going backwards. Oh no, everything's gonna slow down, but. It does come in conjunction with a fixed star called Spica, which is the most fortunate of, of fixed stars, which promises wealth, success, happiness, and love. So success in making your house, building your house, and it's going to happen. It might slow down a little bit. It might slow down a little bit, but it's in you and you do if you wanting to expand your family and have children then it will happen um but but you just have to be a little patient you know and, and like i say you do mantras you're going to be like double blessed if you're really wanting twins or something like that and lately people are just all about wanting to have twin babies or something so you know, get them all out at once. <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, and then so we have on the 11th of February a full moon in the in Leo. This is happening in your second house, promising you for the next six months that your that that you would be blessed in finances, the money that you earn, also that that you're feeling cherished. By like if you're dating someone, if you you know, because the fifth house has to do with dating rendezvous, and if this definitely gives a lot of good energy, like it, you're getting involved, even if like, if, <laughs> yeah, it's just it just it is good energy, and and um. Even if you are married, I wanted to say, I don't like to say this because some people are, they do crossover watches, but you are the master of your matrix to say, no, I'm not going to cheat on my spouse or whatever, okay? So the, the, the planets come and go, but you are the one who knows, who, who says, okay, no, I love my spouse too much. I'm not going to go down that road, okay? So, you do, you know, can't say that the planets um, coerced you to make a decision. No, it doesn't work that way. It's like you're being, you could be tested, your love could be tested, okay? So, um, <laughs> so then on the 19th of February, Sun enters Pisces. This is happening in your ninth house, so a lot of emphasis is happening. Um, you could be having to connect a lot with authoritative figures, um, especially those who are out of out of the country, and um, um, secrets could be secrets could be coming out. Um, Secrets could be coming out in regards to, uh, so behind closed doors, uh, so it could be like very spiritual connection where you're talking with um, authoritative figures from your, um, in, in a group, like philosophical group or so. On the 22nd of February, we have um, Mars and Pluto. They are... 90 degrees aspecting each other not very good not very good so there's going to be like a pull and a, 
um, a control issue happening here in regards to your career and in regards to your <laughs> seventh house it has to do with your relationship with your wifey or your hubby and the Pluto has to do with controlling and being jealous so they're like if you if you are married they're going to find out because Pluto also has to do with secrets and the secrets come out the secrets could be coming out on the 22nd of February and you're like you know you're in deep poo poo put it that way <laughs> and, and the person could be getting like really jealous all controlling and um, all up in your face about who you're talking to in your career or whatever so because they're going to feel something's not right here with Venus and and Mars you know like hot really 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 hot energy having in your 10th house okay so just to warn you you know you just you heard it from me you know <laughs> be careful be careful then on the 26th of February Uranus and Mars meet they conjunct in your 10th house you have to be careful from sudden surprises this is, um, could be like dang, some kind of uh, accident can happen with within your career sector or something something could happen here so be very careful um, could be sudden surprises and if you do your Uranus and Mars mantras it could be a good surprise for your career and then on the 26th of February Mercury enters Pisces this is your um, this is your ninth house of um, your ninth house that has to do with with your uh, gurus, your professors. Um, mm, has to do with um, communication with them, presenting yourself if you have to present anything. On the twenty sixth of February, we also have we also have, and it also if you're caught in litigation, Murphy is really going to help you. You know to help you within a, a litigation process 26th of February there's a new moon in your ninth house which is blessing you for the next next um, six months uh, that in regards to spirituality in regards to um, connecting with people um, in regards to philosophies and stuff and um, or it could also be with higher education, you know, um, being accepted in, in maybe a university or something of that sort, or taking on a new course. So, yeah, that was Astrology for Cancer, February 2017. Until next time, goodbye. Mwah. So, this uh, this is yes, the Astrology General Lesson für Krebs, February 2017, meine liebe Krebsmenschen. <laughs> plop, plop, plop. <laughs> ich habe diese Vorstellung von einem Krebs, der auf den Sand, auf den Strand <laughs> rumgeht, <laughs> wackelt. Uh, 1. Februar, <laughs> Mars. Mars ist in Witter in deinem Zentrum Haus und um, arbeitet für dich. Juhu, das ist deine, für deinen Ruf, deine Karriere. Super, super Energie, hinauf der Leiter zu gehen. Venus fliegt rein am 4. Februar und, und segnet dir noch mehr. Venus hat auch zu tun mit Luxus und Geld. So, das Geld sollte wirklich fließen. Vielleicht ist es die am besten Zeit, deine Boss zu fragen ob du mehr Geld verdienen kannst, okay. Aber wenn Mars und Venus hier zusammenkommen, in Vita, diese Go-Getter-Energie und Mars ist so <lacht> heiß, heißer Planet und Venus kommt hier und 
es kann, es kann nicht mehr brav sein, als wenn es war in, in Fisch. <lacht> Der Maß ist nicht zum Bremsen, wenn, er, wenn es reinkommt in Witter. Der Maß ist Lempido oder wie heißt es? Der, der Lust von der Mars ist so extrem wie noch nie. Es braucht zwei Jahre, vor, vor Mars wieder in seine eigene Konstellation zu kommen. Und es wird einfach Party. Und wenn, wenn Venus kommt rein, spaziert rein, es ist wie, er ist wie der Alpha-Mann und er zeigt die Venus seine Muskeln. Komm hier, meine liebe Dame. Ja? Und so, wenn Venus hier fliegt, ja, die Liebe, Liebe ist sehr stark, das hat zu tun in deinem Karrierehaus, jemanden, das du kennst in deinem Karrierehaus und, ähm, ja, so, äh, wenn du aber, wenn du aber <lacht> verheiratet bist, vorsichtig sein, weil am Ende des Monats, so 26. Februar, Deine, wenn du bist verheiratet, deine Partner kann es rausfinden, weil Mars und Pluto sind 90 Grad voneinander und es zeigt, dass du konntest Konflikt haben wegen deiner Arbeit und Karriere und mit der Ehefrau. So sie kann, Pluto hat zu tun mit ähm, Forschen, Nachforschen, Einversuchtig sein, so sie könnte in dein Gesicht kommen, zu deinem Büro und sagen, wo ist sie? Wo ist sie? Wo ist diese Frau? Ich werde ihr zeigen. <lacht> so, ja, wenn du wirst nicht in diese Lage kommen, dann wird er deine Mars-Mantras machen. <lacht> Und Pluto. <lacht> also, am besten treu bleiben. Treu bleiben, okay? So, na. <lacht> Und dann, ähm, um, 6. Februar, Jupiter fliegt den Rückgängig. Das so, passiert in deinem vierten Haus. Das hat mit Familie zu tun, dein Heim zu tun. Wenn du hast, äh, wenn du hast Lust, dein Haus zu renovieren, vergrößern, die Wände vergrößern. Oder wenn du hast, wenn du hast ähm, den Lust, die Familie zu vergrößern, ja, dann Jupiter sagt es. Er hat vor, dich zu segnen. Vielleicht hast du deinen Mann oder Frau überredet, doch noch ein Kind. Und wenn Jupiter rückgängig geht, dann es kann es sein, dass alles bremst und, und du bist wie, was passiert? You know, ja, wir, wir haben Sex jede Nacht, aber ich werde nicht schwanger. Nicht weinen, nicht weinen, es wird. Einfach, was hier am besten ist, Jupiters Mantras machen. Besonders wenn es rückgängig fliegt. Und wenn es vorwärts fliegt, es kann sein, du wirst extrem hoch gesegnet. Vielleicht mit Zwillinge sogar, ähm, wenn du das willst. Oder ähm, einfach, es ist es, es ganz sicher, wird du gesegnet mit, mit noch ein Kind. Oder wenn du Haus baust, dann oder renovierst oder was immer, deine Familie, dein Heim sollte wirklich gesegnet hier sein. Und, und wenn Jupiter rückgängig geht und was alles falsch nicht richtig ist im Haus, wenn, der, wenn es, weil Jupiter ist sehr spiritueller Planet, ein sehr spiritueller Planet und was nicht in seiner Frequenz ist, dann es fängt an zu sagen, okay, Sachen bremst und du fängst an innerlich reinzuschauen und sehen, was sind hier meine Vulkanen, was funktioniert nicht in meiner Familie und was muss ich ändern, so dass es funktioniert doch und dass es Harmonie hier gibt. Okay? So, dann wir am, am 7. Februar Merkur fliegt rein in Wassermann. Das ist ein Afterhouse von Geld von anderen Quellen wie ähm, von Bank, also wenn, ähm, wenn du willst von Banks ausborgen oder von, von Regierung oder von ähm, Alimente, solche Sachen, also ähm, fließen zu dir Möglichkeiten, es kann passieren, dass du wirst gesegnet, sogar Geld von deiner Ehemann oder Ehefrau 
könnte zu dir fließen. Ähm, dann am 11. Februar ist es ein Vollmond. Lunar Eclipse in Löwe in deinem zweiten Haus von Geld. Das Geld, das du verdienst. Und äh, der Löwe hat zu tun mit Liebe, Rendezvous. Und du könntest hier wirklich die Liebe füllen, mit wem du ausgehst. Und hoffentlich bist du nicht verheiratet. <lacht> Um, sechs Monate diese Liebe wirst du fühlen für sechs Monate lang ganz, ganz, ganz gesegnet und stark. Ja, und dann 19. Februar, Sonne fliegt rein in Fisch. Das segnet dein Haus, das hat zu tun mit höherer Ausbildung, Philosophie, Reisen. 22. Februar, Mars und Pluto kommen Kopf zu Kopf. Ich habe schon erzählt davon, vorsichtig nicht die Frau einvorsichtig zu machen, weil sie wird, sie wird in deine Gesicht gehen und dir wissen lassen, dass du nichts mit die anderen zu tun hast, in, mit wem du arbeitest. Okay? Am 26. Februar, Merkur fliegt ein Fisch in deinem neuen Haus und wenn du bist involviert in irgendeiner um, in irgendeinem Prozess, das hat zu tun mit um, Gericht oder so, Merkur hilft dir, dein Fall hilft dir zu kommunizieren, vielleicht bekommst du der allerbeste um, Anwalt oder so, aber Merkur hilft dir. Um, Sex oder segnet dir das, es fließt besser. 26. Februar in Neumond, Solar Eclipse in deinem neuen Haus bist gesegnet. So, vielleicht, wenn du bist in einem in eine, ähm, irgendeinem Prozess, das hat zu tun mit Gericht, du wirst gesegnet die nächsten sechs Monate, dass es sollte für dich werden. Okay? So, das war meine lieben Damen und Herren, die General Astrologie Horoskop für Krebs. Februar 2017. Ich wünsche euch alles, 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 alles Gute für Valentinstag. Und seid treu. Und brav. Okay, tschüssi.